Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark and friends here today. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, no matter where you are in the world. The latest news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Thai and US relationships have improved of late. China helps Lao with medical equipment for the Wuhan coronavirus. Some tourists get automatic visa extensions. Bangkok police arrest six Vietnamese on mask hoarding operation. A man found dead on a Thai train with the coronavirus and had a medical certificate to prove that he didn't have the virus. But first up, the Thai-US relationship and where is it heading? Thailand is the oldest treaty ally of the United States in Asia, with bilateral ties dating back to 1833. Military to military relations reached their high point during the Vietnam War period and remained deep. Thailand hosts the annual Cobra Gold Military Exercise, one of America's largest military drills involving the participants of nations across the Asia Pacific. But Thailand does not host rotations of US forces in the manner of the Philippines, nor does it have an agreement with Washington that would allow it to. Bangkok always has been careful to maintain close ties with China, and these ties have deepened in recent years as the Chinese Communist Party's economy and military power has rapidly grown. The director of the Institute of Security and International Studies in Bangkok says cancellation of the VFA may lead to Thailand's strategy thinking and moving away from the US and more towards China. It's been a growing topic of debate within Thailand's political establishment in recent years. The US and Thailand's military cooperation was set back in 2014 with a coup that brought current Prime Minister Priyat Chinachat to power. This subsequently caused the Obama administration to suspend foreign military assistance. But since the relationship has improved with military to military cooperation, the bedrock of the entire bilateral relationship that has been helped by the Trump administration's recalibration of interest over values, not priorities, rights and freedom. So relationships between Thailand and the United States have vastly improved since the coup. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell us what you think. Lao has nine confirmed cases of the coronavirus and the Chinese Communist Party donates medical equipment to help prevent Wuhan coronavirus spread from China. While Lao was one of the few countries that had not reported a single confirmed Chinese Wuhan coronavirus case until very recently, the medical system there appears to be ill-equipped should an infection rise. At the health center in Vientiane, the Chinese Communist Party donated truckloads of protective gear to help the Lao authorities for use when in close proximity to confirmed coronavirus patients. There are about four or five army truckloads with supplies that will be distributed to provincial hospitals, an official from the center stated. China donated 400,000 face masks, 5,000 N95 respiratory masks, and 5,000 suits of protective clothing 
or worth about US 300000 The Vienzen Health Center official said that the donation was not the first. Previous donations from China, Vietnam and Lao organizations were already distributed to provincial hospitals. China is also sending health teams to help Lao in its fight. A team of Chinese workers are coming to help inspect and treat people with the coronavirus in several hospitals in Vienzen. Some are working at the Center for Disease Control. Some are there to help people with masks and using hand sanitizer to protect themselves. Lao citizens are reportedly saying they were relieved by the Chinese donation, saying they are confident because China was the first country with people infected mainland China Wuhan coronavirus. They will be able to cure us with no new infected cases. Thailand tourists get automatic visa extensions. Thailand's Prime Minister Priyat Chinachat is concerned that foreigners seeking visa extensions are gathering in their hundreds at immigration offices each day. Immigration Bureau wants foreigners who have had their travel plans disrupted by the virus be given extension visas to the end of June. The immigration offices are virtually under siege by foreigners seeking extensions. The long queues, congestion and lack of social distancing has created a crucial health risk for both immigration staff and visitors. Foreign Affairs Ministry said the Cabinet has responded with a move to grant automatic renewal of tourist visas for visitors who arrive in Thailand after March the 1st. The proposal was approved by the Cabinet and is set to be officially announced. Foreigners in Thailand who hold other type of visas still need to go to visit the immigration office for extensions. Bangkok police arrest six Vietnamese in mask hoarding sting. Immigration police yesterday arrested six Vietnamese nationals in a sting operation for illegally hoarding hand sanitizer and face masks. The items highly prized due to the current coronavirus situation. They were arrested in a house in Bangkok. Police reportedly found 142,000 face masks, 12,000 bottles of hand gels, 13 barrels of alcohol, three gel making machines, two pistols, and a small amount of methamphetamines, and MDA, more commonly known as ecstasy. We organized the sting by buying a carton of face masks from the suspects at 32,500 baht, or 15 baht per piece, and arrested them. The suspects included two women and four men. The owner of the company, one of the females, told police she opened the tour company seven to eight months ago under the name of An An Bangkok Travel Company. But the business was down due to decreasing tourist numbers, so she contacted her friend in Vietnam to import face masks and sanitizing gel to sell in Thailand. The suspect faced several charges including hoarding controlled goods, selling controlled products at an inflated price, processing drugs, possessing firearms without a license, and working without a permit. Workers wearing protective gear as they disinfect a train car near the Thap Sak railway station following the death of a passenger on the carriage who later tested positive to the coronavirus. A 57-year-old Thai man found dead on a passenger train in Thailand has tested positive to coronavirus. Officials said yesterday as the country's death toll from the coronavirus was rising to more than triple from the week before. The 57-year-old man who had just returned from Pakistan and was travelling from Bangkok to the southern province. He was seen coughing and vomiting before boarding the train on Monday, State Railway of Thailand said. His body was found in front of a bathroom during the journey. Other passengers were evacuated from the carriage, which was then disconnected from the rest of the train and disinfected by workers wearing protective suits. It is not clear when the man arrived back in Thailand. He was carrying a health certificate issued by a doctor in Pakistan and stated he did not have the virus and was fit to travel. Maybe the Thai government should be asking the Pakistan government why this man was given a certificate fit for travel when he had the coronavirus. 
a state of emergency that took effect last Wednesday barred entry into the kingdom except for diplomats and Thais. Anyone arriving in Thailand must have a health certificate and spend 14 days self-quarantine. State Railway Rep Takoon said that he showed no symptoms prior to boarding the train except for vomiting and coughing before he got onto the train witnessed by other passengers. He also added that the railway ordered all passengers and staff aboard the train to quarantine for 14 days. The train has been removed from service for two days of disinfection.